Hi, I'm Lucinda from Acuity Training. I'm going to show you how to create a diagram in PowerPoint 2007 and 2010. There's a new feature that came out in 2007 to create professional, quick, efficient diagrams called SmartArt. And this is what I'm going to be showing you. It's also available in Word, Outlook and Excel. If we go into a PowerPoint presentation, what we'll do is scroll down to the bottom of the presentation and I'm going to click on slide 10 to produce a new slide with a title only after slide 10. The title is going to be Organisation Chart and that's what we're going to be producing on this slide. The Smart Art graphic that we can use are in the insert ribbon and in the illustrations group there's the smart up button there and we're going to be producing for this example an organization chart so I'm going to choose the hierarchy category and pick from one of these hierarchy options as you can see showing here on the right there's quite a few hierarchy options to choose from I'm going to pick the more basic one to begin with click on OK and you're given a very basic structure to begin to use. I'm just going to move it down slightly. We can either type straight into the box or we can use the arrows on the left here to produce a text box. Mr A is going to be at the top of our organisation chart, Mr B his assistant and then we're going to have Mrs C. Miss D as her colleague and Mr E as their colleague. If we want to produce another colleague for Mrs C, Miss D and Mr E, we could just click at the end of Mrs C for example, press return and as you can see another shape is created. That could be Mr F. If Mr E has got some assistance some team members. If we press return after Mr E, we want to create team members, not a colleague for Mr E. So we use the tab button above caps lock and that starts to create team members. So he might have assistant one and assistant two. Let's give, let's give Mrs C some assistance as well. So again, click at the end of Mrs C, press return, tab in, which is the button above caps lock and she can have assistant one and an assistant two as well and as you can see the organisation chart starts to build. When you finish with the text we can close the text box down and we can start working on our chart using the ribbon. At this point we can alter the layouts which are shown in the Smart Art Tools Design Ribbon. We have a Layouts Gallery here. If we just point, you can see how the layout can be changed for our organisation chart. Some obviously work better than others. To see more layouts, there is a More Arrow, and we can begin to see the complete default templates that we have for the organisation chart. I'm going to pick I think this one here, the horizontal organisation chart, which completely changes the look of our org chart. If you want to change the colours, that's the option next door in the design ribbon, change colours. And we can maybe go for a more colourful approach, where each band, each level is a different colour. Or maybe you want to use the accent colours from the actual theme that you're using. So maybe a brown like so, or maybe more of a blue or a grey. Once the colours have been changed, we can move along to the style of the smart art. And again, by clicking on the more option, we can begin to see how we can change the look of our smart art. As you can see there. You can get more three dimensional looks as well as you can see, I'm pointing at now, which give a more polished appearance or a more inset appearance. You can see the smart art changing. 
Okay, and I'm going to use one of my favourites, which is inset. If I click away and click on slideshow, that produces in a matter of minutes a very professional looking quick organisation chart. If I press escape, we come back to the slide, we can click on it if we need to and edit it more if we need to. And that's how to create a diagram, specifically an organisation chart in PowerPoint 2007 and 2010.